border encounters. 2010, 447,000. 2011, 327,000. 2012, 356,000. 2013, 414,000. Uh, 2015, 331,000, 16, 408,000, 17, 303,000, 18, 396,000, 2019, 851,000, 2020, 400,000, 2021, 1. 1.6 million, 2022, 2.2 million. There was somebody who became president of the United States in January of 21. And on January 20, 2021, this gentleman, um, actually got rid of the, migr the Migrant Protection Protocols, the MPP program. He stopped border wall funding. He actually uh, gutted the interior enforcement against illegal aliens. He put a 100-day moratorium to study border security protocols. In your opinions, you've done this job, both of you, for qu quite some time, and we thank you for your service. But in your opinion, do you believe these policy changes actually led to the drastic increases in border encounters at the, at the southern border. In the Tucson sector, um, interviewing people post-arrest, what, what became the most common response was that they believed that when the administration changed, that the law changed and policy changed and that th there was an open border. Chief, I'm glad you said that because, ladies and gentlemen, the law did not change. Joe Biden decided not to follow the law. I've actually been, uh, Chief Chavez, I've been in your section. I was that member that went to that bus that's run by uh, HHS that was taking migrant children out of your holding facilities, and they were taking them to unmarked hotels somewhere along the southern border, which, by the way, is a no-bid contract to some for-profit company from the Department of, Homeland, of, of HHS to some for-profit company. Um, what we see in the Yuma section are the drug cartels get fake IDs for the migrants that they are trafficking through our southern border. And they tell the migrants to drop the fake IDs before they meet up with our border agents. Chief Chavez, why would the drug cartels tell the migrants they are trafficking to drop their IDs before they engage our agents? Because they, they do that so that that way there's no identification on them and that we're not able to... Um, identify them and they can be who they are, who, whoever they want to be at the time that we identify them at processing. Chief Chavez, got a second question for you. Um, when I was in, not your section, I was in Yuma section, one of the things that we found were um, empty capsules of Plan B, empty capsules of birth control. I would argue that if you have wholesale policy changes, which lead to a fourfold increase in encounters, what you also are doing is having a fourfold increase in sexual assaults of young girls going to our southern border. Quick point, Mr. Chairman, it was said earlier about the last piece of immigration reform done by Congress was by Ronald Reagan and the Congress at that time in 1986. That was the last time it was done. Here are the facts of what actually happened. Ronald Reagan, in good faith, signed an, a comprehensive immigration reform plan. And part of that plan was enhanced border security and border wall funding and congressional Democrats did not continue with the funding apparatuses in future budgets. So they reneged on their side of the deal, which is why a lot of Republicans today don't want to do comprehensive immigration reform. We want to see the border secured consistently. And then at that point, we can go through the different pieces of immigration policy to we, so we can have a full and complete immigration system to make sure America succeeds in the future. Sorry, Mr. Chairman, I yield back. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel. And while you're at it, please leave us a comment. Thank you for watching.